Well, hello everyone, and welcome back to the Math Puzzle Crash Course. We have a mixed operations problem, a uh, pretty simple one again today. Um, we have um, subtraction, multiplication, and addition. Um, so we'd like to try to work this one out. Uh, you may already have the answer, or maybe have been able to do this one in your head. Um, but um, for anyone who's got any difficulty with this, you can pause the video right here and we'll come back and work this one out together. All right, so first of all, um, I just want to bring up uh, a reminder about the order of operations. Um, sometimes the order of operations represented by different acronyms. Um, some people may have not learned the acronyms, but it's still the same order of operations no matter where you're from. Um, there are some common acronyms that are used these days like PEMDAS, BODMAS, BEDMAS, uh, BIDMAS, um, but all these acronyms really represent the same thing. There's no difference. Uh, you basically have brackets or parentheses. Um, as your fir the first thing you're looking for in a problem, if you have them, uh, you don't have to have them, but you might. Um, and basically all they are are they're grouping symbols that tell you to solve uh, any, anything in the order of operations that are inside them. So you look for the left bracket, the right bracket, left parentheses, right parentheses, uh, parentheses, and you solve according to the order of operations everything inside of them. Uh, and then after that you have your exponents, orders, you know, that's things like, you know, powers, you know, something raised to a power, uh, square roots, things like that. Um, and the reason those have priorities is because it, they're really considered like shorthand for multiplication. You know, if you have 5 to the 5th power, it's the same thing as saying uh, 5 times 5 times 5 times 5 times 5. It's much easier to write 5 to the 5th power or 5 raised to the 5th power um, than it is to write out the longer multiplication. So... That's why those are given a, a higher priority. Uh, and then, of course, after that, you've got multiplication and division. A lot of people will get confused here because they'll assume, well, multiplication is first or division comes before multiplication, when in fact they have equal precedence. Uh, that's one of the things that people, that's why the acronyms confuse people a lot because they'll see the D before the M or the M before the D. Uh, it makes no difference because division is just multiplication by a reciprocal they're the same thing um now i believe in kenya they may have taught division before multiplication which honestly you will get the same answer it doesn't work the other way around multiplication if you always assume multiplication before division you're going to get the wrong answer uh, but it does turn out that um, with the method they they've they've used in kenya you still get the same answer as assuming multiplication and division have equal precedence and you just do them left to right um, number four, your addition and subtraction. Uh, again, addition and subtraction have equal precedence. Subtraction before, you know, it's not addition before subtraction. They're equal. Uh, so that, I just want to go off on that a little bit. But um, back to the problem at hand that we have, um, it's 7 minus 7 times 7 plus 7. Well, we don't have any brackets, parentheses. There's no exponents, square roots, anything like that. Um, we don't have any division. You know, we're just going left to right. Well, we have 7 minus 7 times 7, but um, we, we need to do the multiplication first. And why? Because multiplication is shorthand for repeated addition. It's It's got priority uh, over the addition and subtraction. So it's 7 times 7, which is 49. Now, remember, you have a negative sign out here. So it's 7 minus 49 and then plus 7. Well... What do you think that equals? Well, you go you go here left to right. 7 minus 49 is negative 42, minus 42, uh, then plus 7. Well, negative 42 plus 7 is negative 35. Um, I've seen a lot of people just answer 35, uh, really just getting their signs confused here a little bit. Remember, this is a negative number. If you're looking at a number line and your positive numbers are the right and your negative numbers are to the left, you know, this is far to the left of zero. So this is negative. Negative 42 plus 7 is negative 35. So it's like, think of it this way. If you're in debt, $42 or 42 pounds or 42 euros, whatever your currency is, uh, and you pay off $7 of your debt, 
you know, seven dollars or seven euros, whatever. Uh, you're still going to be in debt, but you're going to be a little less in debt. You're negative thirty-five dollars or thirty-five euros. So, uh, you know, you're still in debt, but you're getting better. Um, but anyhow, uh, back to this. Um, again, I've mentioned before that multiplication is just shorthand for repeated addition. So think of it that way, and the order of operations, you know, will make perfect sense because you can replace the seven times seven by adding seven sevens. And if you go through this, you're going to still get negative 35. If you, you know, keep in mind this negative sign applies to everything in here. So these are all, these are all added up, but then they have, you have the minus sign out front, but you still are going to get negative 35. So um, I hope this video has been helpful. Hope this has been a good refresher on order of operations. Um, I look forward to seeing everybody in the next video.